Hey, England, have you guys lost your damn fool minds? George Orwell's in his grave, rolling around, pointing at you, saying, I told you so. Hey, what's up, everybody? Good morning, good evening, good night. Whatever it is, wherever you are, welcome to my channel where we have a discussion. I give you communication, and I'm looking for some communication back. We go over world topics, and uh, boy, have I got a kind of interesting one for you today. So before I get into that video, though, I did want to let you guys know that I'm in it for the long run. I want to bring you guys along with me. I want to grow this channel together. So in uh, the spirit of that, I have gotten some sound deadening material, so hopefully you'll notice that the sound quality is a little bit better, a little bit less echo. Also, if you'll notice, the lighting should be a little bit better. Uh, I spent quite a few hours and hours and hours educating myself on uh, video editing and lighting and things like that. So I have here a uh, uh, diffused lamp. Uh, it's really just a uh, regular lamp with a piece of white paper over it, but it diffuses. It does the job good. I can see that there's a little bit less shadow. Also, I did spend the money that I didn't really have on some video editing software, but you guys are totally worth it. I really enjoy making the videos. So if I can get just a thumbs up, a like, a share, a subscribe, something just to show me that you appreciate it. I'm in this for the long haul. I want to bring you guys with me. Let's make this channel something great. Let's make it big. All right, so we're going to get into this story here. This is pretty much uh, how free speech dies. All right. Mother, 38, is arrested in front of her children and locked in a cell for seven hours after calling a transgender woman a man on Twitter. Police officers detained Kate Scotto, 38, at her home in Hitchin, Hertfordshire, that would be in England. More than two months after her arrest, she has, neither, uh, has had neither her mobile phone or laptop returned. The complaints made by activist Stephanie Hayden led to arrest of Mrs. Scotto. Okay, so <laughs> a couple things with that. Yeah, uh, of course it was an activist. Sure, who else would it be? I mean, uh, outrage culture, right? Uh, secondly, two months without your laptop or your phone. Could you imagine that? I mean, put yourself in her situation. If you're a college student, you use your laptop for business. Your cell phone you use for everything. The cell phone has become an integral part of our lives. To deprive someone of their cell phone for that long a period of time in today's day and age is pretty harsh. I mean, imagine being without your cell phone for two months. All the information on there, all the pictures, all the... Your life, your entire life is on that cell phone. Three officers detained Kate Scotto, 38, at her home in Hitchin, Hertfordshire, before quizzing her at a police station. Three officers. It took three officers. Let's take a pic look at a, a, a picture of this woman, see what she looks like. See, see if maybe it actually would take three officers to detain her in her home. Uh, yeah, no, it doesn't look like it. Uh, I don't believe they needed three officers. That's a wonderful use of taxpayer resources and, and money and whatnot, though, and, and time. That's, that's fantastic. It's spectacular. Writing on an online mumset, uh, online forum, mumset, mums, mumsnet. Okay, mumsnet. Uh, mum as in mother, English, mumsnet, net, internet. Mrs. Scotto, who has also been served with a court order that bans her from referring to her accuser as a man. Okay, a court order ordering your speech. Here's the slippery roll this is going down. Let's say you and I are conversing. I identify as a man today. You call me man. We're good. Tomorrow you see me, you come up, you say, hey, how you doing, man? And I say, well, you just misgendered me because gender is fluid, remember? So today I identify as a bacon double cheeseburger with green chili. You just misgendered me. This is a very slippery slope. I could foresee things such as someone getting upset with someone and in order to exact revenge, claiming that they misgendered them because that day they decided to change the gender. Gender's fluid, right? Oh, Lord. 
She claimed that she was uh, arrested in her home by three officers with her autistic 10-year-old daughter and her 20-month-old son that she was breastfeeding present. <sighs> Wonderful. What a, what a great thing for your children to see. That's, that's just absolutely, absolutely fantastic. Oh, let's see here. Oop. I was then detained for seven hours in a cell with no sanitary products. Oh, good God, come on. Really, why would you do that? Why would you stick her in a cell without sanitary products that she needs? That, that's unbelievable. Before being interviewed and then later released under investigation, I was arrested for harassment and malicious communications because I called someone out and misgendered them on Twitter. All right, so a uh, little bit more of a backstory on this that a lot of the outlets are not reporting on. Uh, it took a little bit of digging to find the full thing. She did, in fact, have two accounts. She did kind of harass this person. Okay, so the harassment, I can see. Don't harass anybody. That's not good. But a court order saying that you must call this person by the gender that they identify with on any particular day, forced speech, face crime. I don't know if anybody you know what face crime is, but face crime was George Orwell's 1984 uh, book where they had cameras everywhere. Sound familiar? We have cameras everywhere. And on the cameras, whenever uh, the powers that be had had a success or they had a victory or anything, you had to show the proper emotion. If you didn't show enough emotion or the proper emotion, you were convicted of face crime. With today's technology, with facial recognition, I don't see that really being that far off. I mean, we have facial recognition, and if we have speech crime, what's the next logical conclusion? Face crime. This is absolutely absurd. Uh, if this crosses the ocean over here, um, I, I will. F I, I, I just. You, you can't throw someone in jail for their speech like that. I, I, okay, I see calling for. Violence, yes, absolutely. But misgendering somebody, what happened to the society where we said, hey, you know, you're, you're an adult. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. What, are we breeding a, a, a worldwide epidemic of snowflakes? People who are so thin-skinned that they can't get along in life? I mean, what is the future going to be? A business, you need to go fire somebody. You can't fire them because, well, they'll get offended. This is absurd. But then again, this is just my opinion. I highly encourage you to do your own research. Have your own opinions. If you think I'm wrong, tell me that I'm wrong. If you think I'm right, tell me I'm right. But this to me does not sound right. This to me sounds 1984-ish. And like I said, the next logical conclusion is that the next step is going to be face crime. North Korea. In North Korea, when their dear leader passed away, they had to show remorse, uh, sadness, and they had to show the proper level. If they weren't sad enough, they could have been arrested. Is that where you guys want to go? England? You want to be North Korea? Is that what you want to do? This is a slippery road. This is bad. This is not good. At least over here we have freedom of speech laws that hopefully will protect us. The Founding Fathers definitely did uh, their due diligence in trying to come up with every possible scenario of uh, a government stifling the people. And one of the things that a government will do when they want to control the people? Stifle the free speech. But that's just my opinion. This is me telling you what I think and what I feel. Now I'm looking for the communication back from you guys. What do you think? Are you okay with this? I mean, if you're okay with this, I'll be okay with this. This is a democracy. I got you back. I'm just spewing out my poor little opinions that don't really mean much. But your opinions mean more to me than anything. Anyways, I have been up for about uh, 39 hours now. I am exhausted. Uh, I was up learning how to make these videos better for you, and uh, it was well worth it. So, 
Leave a like, comment, subscribe. I am tired as heck. I'm going to bed. I'll see you guys tomorrow. You have a wonderful night, a good evening, and a wonderful morning.